Pastor Jim Doherty, Power to Change Crusades. Today is voting day, so the Spirit of God put it on my heart. Let's pray. But I wanted to read Scripture in 2, 1 Peter chapter 2, uh, verse 1 and on. Paul says, Therefore I exhort, first of all, that supplications, prayers, intercessions, and giving of thanks be made for all men. So let me just first of all say that God wants us to pray for all people. And how do we pray? For supplications, for our supply. We pray for prayers. We also intercede and come on behalf and praying for others. And we also need to give thanks for all men, as the Bible says. But secondly, Paul says, for kings and all who are in authority, that we may lead a quiet and peaceful life in all godliness and reverence. We need to pray for our president, our vice president, our government, our mayors, our governors, everybody that serves in government. We need to pray for our leaders and authority over us. We also need to pray for our police. We need to pray for our military. We need to pray for all of those in authority over us um, that we may lead a quiet and peaceable life in all godliness and reverence. For this is good and acceptable in the sight of our God who desires all men to be saved and come to the knowledge of the truth. For there is one God and one mediator, me, mediator between God and men, the man Christ Jesus, who gave himself a ransom for all to be testified in due time. Three things I want to share with you. Number one, Paul said to pray for all men. Pray for all people. Interceding for them, praying for their supply, supplications, giving of thanks, but secondly, we should pray for those in authority. Pray regularly and pray often that we may lead a quiet and peaceable life in godliness and reverence. And let's live out that godliness through Jesus Christ and his righteousness in our life. But I want you to see thirdly here, for this is, God, this is a good and acceptable in the sight of God our Savior who desires all men to be saved and come to the knowledge of the truth. God wants people to be saved. Let's remember that. For there is one God and one mediator, one middleman between us and God, the man Christ Jesus, who gave himself a ransom for all to be testified in due time. So God wants people to be saved. So let's pray for people. Let's pray for all men. Let's pray for our government, our leaders, men and women who serve. Let's pray for all in authority. But let's also remember, as Christians, to vote. Let's vote biblically, let's vote prayerfully, but let's make a difference for our Lord Jesus and go out and do what He's called us to do. Yes, we're called to make a difference for Christ, but I believe also we have a responsibility to obey what God tells us to do and vote. Be a part of what God has told us to do as well. Let's pray for these in the world that need Christ, those people, all men and women, boys and girls that are not saved, that they can come to the knowledge of the truth. Let's pray for the government, for the leadership, for the coming administration, for all those that serve in our local governments. Let's pray for our police, our fire department, our military. Let's just go to the Lord in prayer right now. Our gracious and loving Heavenly Father, I thank you, Lord, for this opportunity on this voting day in America that we can stop and pray and pray for those in authority, but also pray for all of our leaders locally, our governor, our uh, Senate, our House, everybody, uh, our mayors, our police officers, fire department, our military, our president, vice president, everyone in authority over us, God. We pray for wisdom for them. We also pray for the coming administration for the same, that you would just have your way and have your will to be done and accomplished. But Lord, you said that you desire all men to come to the knowledge of the truth. I pray, God, that we would pray for people that are not saved right now. That we would, I just lift them up right now, Lord, as we're praying for those that are not saved, that, that as God said in his word here, who desires all men to be saved and come to the knowledge of the truth, that they would come to know Jesus and the truth of who he is. He's the way, the truth, and the life. I pray that you would allow us as Christians to rise up and speak truth, speak the truth in love, and to get out and vote. Vote biblically, vote prayerfully, but vote lovingly. 
Lord, this is a big election, but you're still on the throne. I pray that you would have your way, have your will to be done, have your will to be accomplished. But Lord, please be in the midst of your people. I pray for those that are not saved, that we would represent Jesus, that we would share the gospel, that we would share the truth of Christ with them, that they too can come to know Jesus and go to heaven one day with us. And at the same time, be saved from hell. Thank you, Father, for your forgiveness of sins as well. I pray that you would bless this day and bless, Lord, as we go forward as a country of the United States of America. I pray, Lord, I've heard it said, God bless America, but I've also heard it said, America, bless God. You have already blessed us, God. I just pray that we as a nation will get on our knees and bless you again. And we as believers would just put you first and seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all these things will be added to you. Thank you for this day. Thank you for the opportunity to pray for these um, that are in authority and pray for all above us. But Lord, you're the highest authority. And we pray that you would have your hand on this country and that you would have your will to be accomplished. I give you the praise and the honor and glory in all these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for listening. Thank you for the opportunity to share with you this devotional. I pray that you would share it with someone, share it on your wall, share it with a friend. But let's pray and continue to pray every day for these things, important things that God has told us to pray for. God bless you.